Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another Coaster Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we're going to be looking at two multi-looping coasters, one inverted hanging from above, and one sit down from below. Really cool concept, so stay tuned, and let's check it out. All right, welcome back everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We're gonna get on into things today. We're looking at Dead or Alive, created by Roger, one of our Discord builders. And here they say, a race between the living and the undead. I was in the beginning a bit lazy, a bit scary to start at the challenge as there are so many great creators what just pulverize my creation and creativity and technique. <laughs> and here for ride preferences, they say, ride at night and just take the front car, whatever seat in third row, you see a bit for a better duel, but I did my best to make it possible to see it in any car. Okay, there you go. Let's get on into it. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at Dead or Alive. Some really cool uh, aspects here. The more I did the cinematics, the more I got a little bit closer look at things, the more I started to appreciate it. But when I first opened it up, if I'm going to be dead honest, <laughs> it seemed a little underwhelming. But my opinion changed the more I looked around. So, uh, as you can see with the details on the boarding station and stuff, it's in pretty incredible. This circular cage going on. I think we're going to start with the dead here. Yeah, like, just look at the queue here. There's a lot going on. we got the zombies, burning buildings. I mean, some of it is a little bit messy the floating pathway with no real fencing or anything could use a little bit more polish the lighting is a little bit strange but i do think there's a lot of good aspects so if we can refine this builder uh refine their techniques a little bit i think in their f in the future you can really come forward as a, an advanced or expert creator because i do think there's a lot of um potential in this creation it just needs some fine tuning you know, just just missing those details, like the railings and stuff, and... I mean, the, I guess the path has the railings, but, uh, I guess more of your cage work and stuff. But yeah, the boarding station looks phenomenal. There's a lot of different aspects between your lighting that looks good. See, the lighting over here looks amazing, right? But then the lighting up there looks... <laughs> a little bit to be desired. So, here we go, we got the, uh, Floorless Werewolf coaster. And there's a look at all the stats if you want to see them. So your max vertical G's and lateral G's are getting a little bit out of hand. We can take a look at that after. Max speed's at 88 miles per hour. That's likely why those G-forces are getting out of control. It's probably going too fast around certain corners. So we'll have to uh, take a look at that after and help you with your coaster design. Nonetheless, there it is. As they mentioned, they want us to... They said they could sit pretty much anywhere. But I think uh, we have this ongoing thing where we're switching up the seats and trying to get the best perspective. I wanted to say look forward would work best, but because these shoulders are in the way, it doesn't really work as well as I would have liked it. I think maybe um, we could try Chase on this. Let's go Chase.
Wow. Yeah, that was a ton of fun. I do think there just needs to be a little bit more refinement in certain elements of the coaster. We're coming down here really hot and heavy. I'm sure the lateral Gs are probably getting out of control in uh, some of these spots. Yeah, definitely. So you really should have just came into this a little bit softer. Come all the way around. There's no need for that swivel there. If anything, just come bring it straight in. So I think with your coaster refinement is just, uh, as I've said with the other creators, just to keep an eye on your lateral trees. That was such a huge drop. And this just needs to be smoothed out like mega because there's two big dents there that just break your neck <laughs> and certain little hot spots. But other than that, it's a fun experience and there's some great dueling interactions. So I wanted to give my quick thoughts on this one because it is Friday night where I'm at and I ordered some food and it said 27 minutes, but suddenly it kicked in out of nowhere and it's going to be at the door any second now. So I have to stop the recording, eat dinner, and I'll be back for the next coaster. So I wanted to say what I needed to say about that one before I lost my train of thought and uh, we'll focus a little bit more on the other coaster once I'm back. So see you guys in a second. And we're back. Where was I? We are going on the living coaster now. Hunters. Let's go, hunters. All right. I definitely like the ambience of everything here. And I like the aesthetic details that you put in. I want to see more of this stuff. The, what you did in the boarding station. I'd like to see that more throughout the landscape and the coaster experience itself. It was more of a terrain adventure, but good job, like, introducing the coasters for sure. These boarding stations are great. So, our next coaster, which is going to be the two-seated BOA inverted coaster. There's a look at all the stats. Again, pretty heavy on the G-forces. I'm sure if we looked at the heat maps, we'd see similar issues to the last one. Just a little bit of refinement needed, and uh, I think you're uh, good to go. So let's get on this one. We're gonna have to choose a different perspective, I think. I think for this one, I'm gonna do orbit. And we're gonna do orbit from, okay. Oh yeah, there's a little trick. So if you go to the back seat, wait, car? Yes. If you go to the back car and the back seat, and then you go to orbit, it's gonna orbit around the back seat for anyone that didn't know that. So we can actually kind of like look around and, and it's a bit of a chase with control. Pretty cool.
there we have it dead or alive ladies and gentlemen created by roger as i was saying earlier when i first loaded it up it could it could seem a little underwhelming uh, there's a lot of terrain but you're kind of like what's going on here there's like little trucks and things scattered about but they're not a part of like uh i mean i guess they're firing at this this is kind of cool but maybe if you would have chose that city map and whereas the city's in the background and you had this in front you know what i mean like the city would be right there and you built that out a little bit more that would be a little bit cooler and then you did some streets and stuff uh for the most part it's just this big crazy terrain but you have all these really cool elements i love this cage stuff that you've got going there's a lot of like intense menacing feeling feelings that you get from this between the boarding station the lighting and uh different aspects even the coaster exhibits fear as it's going so fast and breaking the g-forces to a point where it almost kind of works you know i think with that said you definitely did a good job of like creating almost a scary dark ride coaster however i do feel like with the you should have picked like a spooky soundtrack for the undead you have all these really good options in planet coaster and then something a little bit more aggressive and rock and roll for the hunters like we're going on a hunt there's some pretty good action songs in planet coaster as well the feelings of a hunter a little bit more like we're on the hunt and we're you know there's a little bit more of a, a chase there and with that you could add a little bit more animatronics some explosions with zombies flying everywhere and along that journey of playing the hunter there should have been some zombie kills in my opinion same could be said for the zombies as we're on the chase to kill some humans could have had some animatronics of people falling and we're knocking them out of the way maybe uh as it's swooping down or coming in there's a row of humans and they're all just falling to the side you can do some pretty fun stuff with the human animatronics as well as the undead animatronics so i feel like you could amp it up a little bit more as we talked about the coasters on the first one just keep a look at your heat maps and reduce the uh lateral g's where they need to be as well as the vertical just reduce those purple areas with some smoothing grab the whole track smooth it out add banking if it needs it on the lateral and there you go so i, I definitely think a strong creation roger you did say in your description that you were a little intimidated uh that the other creators would just pulverize you but i think you did the something unique to your own and i see some personality and some touches of uh creativity in here and there's some really good elements especially this lift here as this one's coming up and this one's coming around how they merge and become one it looks awesome uh there's some really fun factors and i think if you just pushed it a little bit further you'd have a top-notch uh, competing creation here so for me i do still think that there needs to be a little bit more separation between the living and the dead for the dueling aspects and i did give my recommendations on how i would go about doing that and i think that would have at least separated the themes a little bit more but the dueling interactions were there the coasters were intense and the overall it looks pretty freaking neat so good strong solid submission on this one today by roger what did you guys think leave your comments down below and that's going to do it for me in today's video thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed leave a like and i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next submission bye now